career has been called a golden garden with beautiful mountains and limpid water from olden times. As time passes by, our people love more ardently the socialist paradise where Kim il and Kim jong il bloom red and fragrance of magnolia is thick. The situation is very complicated. Socialist Korea prospers under the leadership of the great party and the leader. My socialist country. With the solemn melody of the national anthem ringing out on radio, the day breaks. People have lived for about 5,000 years in this land, but there has never been such a time as today when all live harmoniously free from any worries. In our country, the state buys rice from farmers at high price and supplies it to the working people at a low price. Everyone in our country has the right to be supplied with food all through his life. Inhabitants are being supplied with subsidiary food from the foodstuff shops situated in the dwelling district. The state supplies school uniforms to students in different seasons, compensating 20% of the price.
children in kindergarten and nursery are being supplied with clothes at about 50% price. And once in two or three years, all the children and students are receiving suits, shoes and school things free of charge. Neither a homeless man nor a beggar is found in our country. A great number of new houses are being built to be given to the working people free of charge. Motor repairman Kwak Kongun says, At first we lived in a one-room house. As my family members increased, the state gave me another four-room house gratis. Our people call their tax-free country the bosom of murder apart from which they can't live even a moment. The floor space of each flat in Changwang and Guangbok streets where common people live is 150 to 180 square meters and on average with four rooms or more. The respected leader, comrade Kim Il-sung, who always cares for the people's food, clothing and housing, sees to it that modern houses are given gratis to farmers. Many medium and small power stations have been built and farmhouses are heated by electricity. In our country, a lot of schools have been built and all children study free of charge. Thanks to the 11-year compulsory education system, all children go to school. One quarter of the population are students. The state compensates more than 60% of their taxable price. Just for a few children who are living in remote mountains, school cars, buses, trains and boats are running. After school, 
students go to the school children's palaces for extracurricular activities. At the palaces, they practice what they learn at school, according to their age, psychological peculiarities and standards. At present, there are about 270 universities and colleges in our country, where not a college existed before liberation. Parents are college graduates and their children are attending universities. Such families are increasing day by day. Kim Sugun, head of a student's family, says, "Our daughter is all grown up, but now our daughters are going to the college. She is going to the college. My wife and I graduated from colleges, and our children are studying in universities. They receive scholarship from the state." Spending over 15,800 won in educating one student up to university, the state has brought up 150,000 intellectuals. In the central part of Pyongyang, there stands the Grand People Study House, which has over 600 rooms. It has a collection of 30 million volumes. Books are being sent even to readers in local cities. Under the system of studying while working, saleswomen and workers are also graduating from the correspondence colleges. The state sends intellectuals to modern hospitals to give free medical treatment for the people. Hospitals with expensive equipment are open to all patients. The profits of free medical care per person for a year are equal to two months' salary of a common worker. The section doctor system has been set up and everyone, man and woman, young and old, has his or her doctor in charge. And every inhabitant has his health card. Doctors visit every house. This 102-year-old woman is an object of great concern. Our hospitals have a section for the old, which increases the average longevity. All the triplets who are born at a Pyongyang maternity hospital receive gold rings and ornamental silver knives as a souvenir from the street. In our country, doctors call on the patients before they come to the hospital. 
even an airplane is provided for an emergency case. This is an ordinary artist who fell unconscious. For this patient, a helicopter and medical doctors were sent by the dear leader comrade Kim Zeng-il. <laughs> Upholding the party's will to spare nothing for the people's life, Doctors of the Pyongyang Medicine University Hospital made a woman artist recover her consciousness in 120 days. This woman has recovered in full four months. It owes to the benevolent party and the socialist system. At the Korean Red Cross General Hospital, doctors and nurses are donating their blood for a worker. She was given nine liters of blood and 150 pieces of flesh free of charge. How grateful my country is. Her parents are moved to tears. She'll be benefited by the state at a sanatorium for 30 days, which costs her several months' salary. Since everyone has a stable job, every morning they go to work merrily. In our country, there is no unemployed man. Working people climb up the steep road to the Putin Ridge with conviction and optimism.
Our factories are equipped with modern machines to completely free the working people from hard labor. So they sing that labor is a song and happiness. Those women with more than three children are allowed to work for six hours a day while receiving full salary. Our women are favored with 150-day maternity leave and many kindergartens and nurseries are provided for their children. So they're performing feats to be innovators and labor heroines. In the Fangye Iron and Steel Complex, there are three sanatoria, one in the compound of this complex, other in the scenic East Seaside, and another in the famous Talton Spa. The society where workers are valued most is just a society of our type centered on the popular masses. A spectacle repair woman, Song Sung Hee, who lives in Pyongyang, came up to Musan to supply miners with new glasses and help them in their busy work. There's no difference between noble and mean occupation in our country. Those who serve the people are respected by them more than anyone else. It is regarded as the most worthwhile thing when all the family members become shoe menders, hairdressers, and barbers in order to serve the people. Thanks to the efforts of those people who take care of roads and forests, whether they were watched or not, whether they were praised or not, our country is getting stronger day by day and is visited by bumper harvest. country, 85% of which are mountains, produces no more than 2 million tons of grains immediately after the liberation, but now is expecting 15 million tons.
This woman, who works assiduously as a master of the farm, has become a deputy to the Supreme People's Assembly. In our country, everyone has the right to elect and to be elected, and human rights are guaranteed by the law. All the workers, peasants and intellectuals have become masters of the power and are taking part in exercising all powers and administrating the state with equal political rights. Deputies are devoting themselves as faithful servants of the people. Part in state workers following after the great leader's method of work go among the masses sharing sweets and bitters with them. My socialist country is a collectivist society where everyone regards the owner of his collective more dearly than his becoming a hero. Bright is our future as we have the new generation who volunteer to work in difficult workplaces for society and collective not indulged in earning money. Pretty girls marry honor disabled soldiers with happiness. Increasing is the number of mothers who rear orphans and those including hero Kim Gwang Chul who dedicated their lives for friends and collective. A simple soldier, Kim myung Zin, saved a woman in the rough West Sea at the risk of his life, and a worker, Moon jung Sub rescued Ada's daughter while losing his own daughter in the river. This <laughs> An old villager says, Young Sim's father is a worker educated by the party, and such a good deed can be done only in our socialist country. Moon Jung Sub says that our country is a big family, and his wife says, I don't think that my Young Sim died since there are many of her friends all around. Our 
country is a unique socialist family united single-mindedly around a party and a leader, leaders who devote themselves for society and collective. Now we are confident that we are right when we chose the socialist road and have followed it constantly. Although there are many countries in the world, best is our invincible country where the leader, the party and the masses are united single-heartedly. Overseas competitors are visiting the motherland. As they've come home after 40 or 50 years' life in a foreign country, they are marveled at the scene of their home village, which has changed beyond recognition. An overseas compatriot says, I'm here after scores of years, and how could the land be changed like this? All this is due to the wise leadership of the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, and the dear leader, Mr. Kim Jong-il. Kim Il-sung, the president of the Kim Jong-il, and the leader of Kim Jong-il, the president of the 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 our people do not forget, even for a moment, that the social system of our style and independent and creative life are all provided by the great leader comrade Kim Il-sung and the dear leader comrade Kim Jong-il. Upholding the slogan of fidelity, when the party is determined, we can do anything. Our people are advancing confidently. We know well that if we defend socialism, we'll enjoy victory and happiness, and on the contrary, if we abandon it, we'll suffer defeat. No challenge, no difficulty can shake the conviction of socialist career.
high esteemed great leader comrade Kim Il-sung and dear leader comrade Kim jong il with a sense of boundless loyalty and filial devotion. Our people will live happily forever in our socialist country.